Did you just graduate from electrical engineering and looking forward to land into this job market? Well, if so, land up with confidence because in this video, we are going to provide everything related to electrical engineer. What is the role about and how they are being paid? With that note, I would welcome you all to Freshest Now channel where we would be covering up all of the informative videos regarding career to help you out to sort out what is the career that it is niched up for you as well as how you can find yourself with the right set of skills and improvise your career with these videos. So let us begin with the introduction part which is who is this electrical engineer. Electrical engineers are considered to be developers and also they test electronic products and systems of a wide range of projects from small scale to a very large scale businesses. So for example, it can be from household devices to electrical power systems. So it can range up according to the skills that you're setting up in and also the land of work that you are dedicated into. They would be operating in several disciplines such as power engineering, signal processing and microelectronics, which would be totally based on the experience that you are getting into. Now, even if you are a mid-level career or even if you are a professional or to all the beginners out there, trust yourself stepping into this with confidence because you might be handling up on a very small scale or getting up into open source projects. But eventually, the more the experience that you get, the more it will be of an exposure basis on a higher end scale. So you would be understanding as to how you are placing your mind into. In that note, you should also be able to adapt yourself to the skills that are required, which are lab view, customer service, test automation, operations management, project coordinating, organization skills, complex problem solving skills. Eventually, you need that. And mathematics and physics skills and innovative thinking, obviously, because with this regard, you should be able to quickly understand the issue. What is wrong with that particular product or the particular system that you're working with or the device that you are progressing? with so that you would be able to know as to what are the changes that you need to bring and further make it into a working model. So now that you have understood the introduction, the basic outlook of the role, you should understand what does this person actually do on a day to day basis. So these are some of the points or these are some of the responsibilities that you can consider. Electrical engineers would be responsible for implementing and designing components of any sorts of devices that they would be handed in from that particular organization or company. As well as these engineers would be focusing on generation of power to the device or the product that they are working. Everything that they would be including would be running on electricity as electrical engineering itself is a demand of electricity in work. So eventually they would be focusing on researching, creating and improvising the products and the devices that they are working for. So as a particular handling upon a project or a particular device, they should always have hands on experience of that unless and until you would not be able to recognize the core issue of that particular device and as to how that device is going to be efficiently used by the customer or the client. If you are interested to become one, consider these points. I know you have understood a few basic points about the role, but a little deeper understanding about this will help you out more. Experience in using or a desire to learn requires software. You should also have knowledge of applicable codes which are related to electronic engineering and you should be very proficient in the calculation software so that you, the way you are designing and implementing out to the market will be efficient and productive enough on the other end. And apart from this, there are some of the job roles which are aligned with electrical engineering. So what are they? Or the role of electrical engineer itself is aligned with few job roles which are performing a wide range of engineering tasks by operating computer systems or computer assisted designs and this will be associated with engineering software and equipment. They would be confining with the customers or the engineers and others in order to discuss the whole device which is existing or which is yet to be come out or the potentiality of the engineering projects or the products which are to be designed or which are still in process or progress. So they would be actually working upon various fields and components so that they would be understanding as to how they have to put their mind into action. Now they are, we are heading over to the main part of the video which is going to be 
how these are paid how these people are being paid and what is the pay which is given to these electrical engineers is this high enough to sustain our living or is this for our uh, beginning level career or on a mid level basis or even if i become a professional is this the same pay scale so with that note we have collected all our data from pay scale on an average basis an electrical engineer is being paid 3 lakhs 30 68000 per annum now this we cannot confine it to which level of career but this pay by experience graph will show you from year one to year four you can see that there is only a mid-level growth however there might not be a huge difference or a huge growth as to how your life is going to be as an electrical engineer eventually from after four years or after five years there is a leap of growth where it is eventually increasing only so your professional life also is going to look something like this in the near future However, we are also going to understand how locations are paying, how major locations in India are paying these electrical engineers. Starting off with the first place, Mumbai, 4 lakhs per annum. Now again, every pay which we are mentioning is just going to give you an idea. That's it. Do not stick your eyes on this because it differs from company to company, organization to organization, as well as it depends upon your experience and skills that you are portraying to the organization. Next, Hyderabad, 3 lakhs 20,000. Bangalore, 4 lakhs 88,000 per annum. And then Pune, 3 lakhs 59,000 per annum. And then Noida, 3 lakhs per annum. So now that you have understood, we are stepping into how major companies in India are paying. Companies that we always have our eyes upon and we always target to land in such companies. The first is Torrent Power 3,59,000 per annum. Larsons are paying 5,73,000 per annum. And Tata Power Company is paying 4,89,000 per annum. Now that's a very good start off indeed in regarding your career. If you have any other suggestions to make, place them in the comment section. Also, if you have any other facts or if you are already an electrical engineer, if you want everybody to know about something which we have not covered up, place them in the comment section so even that would be useful for others. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe for more informative videos like this.